is this an Android in my pocket or is it a USB key? Actually, it's an Android computer. The Android 4.0 mini PC is just three inches by one inches by 0.4 inches thick and just one ounce. And yet it contains hardware inside that is powerful enough to run ice cream sandwich on any screen you attach it to. Let's take a closer look at this amazing portable device. So first of all, this device costs just $70. Uh, it's available on Amazon from a company called OEM Systems, but there's also a couple of other vendors selling the same device under other names like the MK802. This, this device inside runs a 1.5 gigahertz all winner uh, ARM CPU. It's got a gigabyte of RAM and it's got two gigabytes of internal storage. Now, if you, we look around at it, it's got a kind of nice plas uh, black plastic design. We really like the picture of little Andy the Android over here and the nice little glossy plastic. Um, over here we've got a USB port which we use to connect peripherals. You can hook it up to a hub. Uh, we certainly would recommend hooking it up to a wireless keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can get a wireless keyboard and mouse combo uh, from companies like Verbatim or we would strongly recommend something like the Logitech DeNovo Mini a wireless keyboard mouse combo that fits in your hand. So over here on the side we have the source of power which is a mini USB port. Uh, basically all you need to do is take any mini USB to full USB cable, hook it up to an AC adapter and you have power to boot up this device. It comes with a standard cable but you'll have to bring your own AC adapter. Over here on, on this side you'll see there's a mini HDMI port which is how you get display for this device. So all you need to do is take the included mini HDMI to HDMI cable and hook it up to a TV or to a monitor that has HDMI or if your monitor just has DVI, you'll need an adapter. Uh, finally over here, our, our last port, and this is important, is the micro SD card slot. Now this doesn't come with a micro SD card, but it does support cards up to 32 gigabytes. So after you plug the Android 4.0 mini PC into power, attaching its uh, USB port to uh, an AC adapter. Uh, what you get is you, a minute or two wait time and then you're here with an Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich desktop. Uh, and you may be familiar with this ice cream sandwich desktop because you've seen it on a lot of tablets uh, or on other Android devices. So it really doesn't come with a lot of apps. This is very stock. Uh, Netflix, Notepad, uh, Riptide, all these things are things we actually installed after the fact. But the good news is it comes with a fully operating version of the Google Play Store, so it's really up to you to fill the device's two gigabytes of internal memory up with apps. So if we look around here, the things it does come with, it comes with a couple of uh, Chinese apps. Uh, QQ is a Chinese social network. I don't think a lot of our readers will be that interested in it. It also comes with a video player, file manager, obviously browser settings, all the things that are stock but here's what's really great about it. What you have here is effectively an Android PC. What you need to do, of course, is attach um, a keyboard and a mouse, preferably a wireless keyboard and mouse. You can do this through a hub, uh, but what we did is we bought this verbatim set here that operates on a single uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, so both the keyboard and the mouse work together uh, on one connection. We actually would also really recommend something like the Logitech DeNovo Mini or a tiny remote keyboard for people who sit back on the couch. Uh, so with its 1.5 gigahertz all winter processor, uh, which is really clocked at 912 megahertz, this is not the most powerful device in the world, but it is more than good enough to perform your everyday tasks like surfing the web and watching movies. So if we open up our movie player here and we're going to play a trailer that is stored locally, you'll see that it is really smooth and we'll just start over from the beginning. It's really, really smooth and no lag, no issues, uh, nice and sharp, colorful, uh, really limited by the quality of our display, um, although we do see a little noise here. One of the issues that we've noticed and I believe they're, we believe they're working on a fix is that even though the hardware of the Android 4.0 mini PC is capable of displaying uh, resolutions even higher than 1080p, right now it seems to be limited to outputting at 720p. So here we are, we're connecting this to a full HD television and it's not actually taking advantage of the full HD resolution of our display. 
nevertheless, it's nice and smooth. Uh, it also outputs solid audio through its mini HDMI connection. Now, one thing that you'll have to get used to if you use this is that when you're using a mouse on Android, it is obviously not an operating system that was really designed for mouse and keyboard. So the right click button actually doesn't give you properties or anything like you would expect in Windows. It uh, takes you back to home. And if you want to long press something, you have to actually hold down the mouse button and then you can you know, get properties or drag it. Uh, attaching a keyboard definitely helps with typing, although you can actually, if you want, pull up a virtual keyboard and type on it using the mouse, which we wouldn't recommend. Uh, but here's the browser, for example, and you can see that we can navigate to whatever website we want, and over the Wi-Fi connection, uh, this device uh, comes with an 802.11n connection, obviously. It will load as quickly as your internet connection allows it to. Uh, the browser is definitely uh, really smooth, and because you have Google Play on here, you obviously have the option to install third-party browsers, which we have tried out, uh, such as uh, the Opera browser or, or the Dolphin HD browser, uh, both of which are excellent. Uh, you can even uh, try the Chrome browser, although we had a couple of issues with it. Uh, so. There's a lot of potential in this device as a web surfing system, as a media playback system. Uh, even though it doesn't come with Netflix, you can install Netflix on it, which we have, and it plays really flawlessly, uh, no, no issues there. You could obviously install audio software like Rhapsody or Spotify to play, um, to play music if you want. It also really shines as a productivity device. So if you want to do document editing, if you want to use something like a quick office, that's also something that you can do very effectively uh, with the Android 4.0 mini PC. So here we've just installed a simple notepad application, uh, but you understand, you can understand the possibility of this, that you could go and type emails, notes, what have you, and, and you could do it all here on your TV or on another HDMI-enabled monitor that you have. Take the uh, Android 4.0 mini PC, put it in your pocket, and carry it somewhere else, and it will retain all of your data. Now, speaking of retaining your data, there's one thing that we really definitely need to mention, and that's that there is no on-off switch for the device. So when you plug it in, it boots. If you leave it for a few minutes, like any Android device, it will go to sleep, although it does get a bit warm. If you want to shut down, you have to unplug it. Uh, so your stuff is saved, but you want to make really carefully, you want to be really careful that you save your work uh, before you do that because it doesn't have a shutdown process like you would expect from Windows or Mac. Uh, again, this is a mobile operating system, so it's not meant to do that. Um, to really be, uh, the operating system itself doesn't accommodate moving it around as well as much as the hardware does. So you have to understand what you're getting here is a good multimedia, set-top box, productivity device, uh, web surfing device, good for email, n definitely not a high-end gaming machine or high-end graphic system, but really convenient for its size and, of course, its price.